Hey, Summers. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Make Two. So we're going to do a new thing. We're going to do Let's Plays of The Sims Free Play from the very beginning. We are not sure how long this is going to go on because we're not going to do any sort of fancy buildings or anything like that. We're just going to do straight gameplay of quests and things that pop up in the game. And we'll see how it goes and see how long you guys stay interested. Yeah, I mean, we started playing over a year ago, so I think I don't even remember all the different quests we've done. There's no bridge to the island. Wow, this is going to be... This is also like a town view that I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah. We never see this again after this, I think. Nope. Well, we made the most of it. So, I think I'm going to name our first sim... Hermione Granger. Okay. I was going to go for Peabody Turnip. Well, it's always more fun to me to play sims who resemble, you know, fictional you characters. Granger? Did you, you not read the book? Ah, uh, audiobook. My goodness. Um, hey, where do you even change her? Oh, the wardrobe. Okay, yeah. There you go. Let's change her hair. The thing about the beginning hairstyles is that you don't really get that much to deal with. But hey, Hermione's got bushy, curly hair, doesn't she? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not quite what it is. Don't okay. give me a hat. Uh, eyes. I think she's described as having brown eyes in the game. In the, sorry, in the books. So let's go for that. Uh, I think her eye makeup is a little bit heavy. Yeah, Hermione yeah. is not really that. Oh, no, that's a different face. That's the wrong face. Yeah, mm, yeah, that's that's nice. yeah, that's nice. And tops. She's pretty conservative, Hermione. Tops. Are you making fun of the way I talk? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my American accent better. Uh, tops. You've been trying for years. I'm trying badly. What about the checkered one? Maybe. I just want to scroll through and see what's available. She does wear hoodies and things like that a lot in the movies. Yeah, she's older now. She's an adult, remember? True, true. Okay, uh, I think let's go with... Not, not the check top then that I wanted? No. Where's that check top? I'm sure. And then you can say no. But no, an informed no, this one. Green. Okay. Or a different colour, the blue. That's nice. Okay, we'll go with this and we'll see how we go. Uh, any changes in pants or trousers, as they would say in the UK? Trousers or trousers? I think. What about the bell bottom jeans? Were they bell bottom? Like that blue pair? I don't like the bell bottoms. I wish they would phase those out. They're not really that attractive. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're not that attractive. <laughs> mm, it's always she's hard. She's not a mini skirt kind of girl. Yeah, it's always really difficult. Maybe just I think start. they kind of look a bit... They haven't got rickets, but they also they don't make them stand in a particularly good way. We'll go with that for now. I think when we are able to choose uh, different clothing items, you know, when we purchase them from the mall, then yeah. we'll see how that goes. No, I think it's just, it just seems to be a bit laggy. Yeah, it seems very laggy. So sorry about that, guys. We are playing on an Ooh, iPhone. An, yeah, an iPhone 5. But then I was playing this for ages on an iPad too, and that was fine. Yeah, let's just go for Hermione's uh, sort of basic hair and clothing kind of girl. All right, so that's good. Start a game with this sim. Yes. Only thing I wanted to say about this game is we're playing it without buy purchasing anything. Though. We're not going to do any in-game purchases. Yeah, we're not going to do any in-game purchases. Okay, we're doing the tutorials. Rotate the camera. Sure, sure. That's good. Good work. Zoom in. Yep. Zoom out, yep. Buy a toilet, great, yes. 
that is necessary. So it's pointing us to the home store, the bathroom, the That's free. nastiest toilet that they have available. Yeah. It's clean. Placing that. Okay, use a toilet. Now that the toilet is in place, it's time to take care of business. Tap on the toilet and get your SIM to use it. Okay. Use the toilet for seven seconds. Let's give Hermione some privacy. There you go. That hair's a bit ridiculous. It's the best approximation, I think. Mm. Use a toilet. It's because they make her Ooh, way to level up. And this is all the things we get. New items, new decorations. Mm, coffee is going to be very important. Coffee is going to be very important, yes. Yeah. Okay, sure. Sims, Sims have, have needs. needs. We You've get got to it. keep them inspired. Hey, not everyone watching this would have seen it before. Oh, sorry. Wash hands in a sink. Phew, your Sim feels much better but now has dirty hands. Wash your Sim's hands at the sink. Tap the sink and choose wash hands. So wash hands for seven seconds. Those of you who haven't seen this game before, or just starting out, as you might know, in the bottom left of the screen, you've got all these different icons for food and toilet and sinks and zeds. And those are all the different needs and wants that your sims have, and you've got to keep their bars filled to keep them inspired and happy. Expand a room. Clean hands and a clean home. Speaking of the home, it looks great but feels a little cramped. Time to renovate. Go to the home store and choose rooms under the house tab, then tap on a wall and drag to expand the room. Yep. So which room? I think it wants you to do the bedroom. Well, maybe I want to do a different room, but fine. Expand a room. Okay. Add flooring. Now your sim can really stretch their legs. Give the house a new look. Go to the home store and choose floors under the house tab. Yeah. Great. Floors. Uh, maybe put the blue carpet in the kitchen because it's free. Yes, that's true. Let's not spend a whole bunch of money that we don't have to spend. Yeah. Okay. I quite like just to, yeah. Because we know that there are lots of quests in this game and they're going to cost money. Yeah. So the less we can spend on building houses, the better, I think. Add some wallpaper. Much better. Now complement the room with some new wallpaper. Go to the home store and choose the walls tab, then select some wallpaper and tap a room to apply it. And if one of them, oh look, one of them's free. Yep. And we've already leveled up again. Level yeah. three. Do you remember the last time you leveled up in your other game? It's been a while ago. Yeah. So it's nice. It gives you, you know, it's keeping you interested. It's both showing you how the game works and giving you those little dopamine hits of leveling up. Yeah, they make it super easy and they give you all these little feelings of satisfaction to begin with so that you just keep right on playing. Yeah, and I'm sorry we can't show you the in-game noises and music, but we just we don't have the technology. Buy a lamp. This home is looking better every minute, or it would do if it weren't so dark in here. Some lighting would help your sim find their way around. Buy a lamp from the home store. So that's under lighting. Hopefully point it out. Free right now. And we're just going to put, put it that... On the table? The kitchen table? I think table. put it on this corner counter because that's space that you can't use for anything really other uh, than yeah. lighting or decorations. That's a little tip for you guys. Well, if you put something... You can put things there, but you can't use them. If you put like a microwave there, you can't use it. Isn't that right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So better to put something there that you don't need your sim to interact with. Mm -hmm. Move an object. That lamp is great, but there's something about the chi of the room that seems odd. Tap on the home store button, then tap on an object to select it and move it to a better position. Okay. Mm. Um, I think that you can move the wardrobe. Yeah, I think put it on that fault. Yeah, on the yeah. So yeah, that's good. What's cool too is we're earning ducats every time we do one of these tasks. Ducats is what we're calling our simoleons. Yeah. Prow browse clothes in the wardrobe. The house is looking great, so good in fact that your sim isn't sure what they're wearing is as good. Is it the clothes, the hair? Best check to be sure. Exit the home store, go to the wardrobe, and choose browse clothes to make sure your sim looks just right for the day. Don't tell me after all <laughs> of that that we spent on picking the right outfit 
going to now want us to choose a different one? Uh, I think you can probably just get away with clicking out. Okay. Let's see what happens. Yay. Yay, done. That's another tip, guys. If you can possibly find the most efficient thing to do that doesn't actually require you to spend time and waste time, that will greatly help your game. Although, hey, part of the game's fun, though, is dressing up your sims and, like you said, making up characters, so... Yeah. Buy a garden patch. Very sharp. Now that your sim and their home look so good, get them to work on the garden. Buy a garden patch from the outdoors section of the home store. Garden patches are going to be really important as well. So trees, plants, and flowers, mm. that's free. Let's go ahead and get it started over here because we know exactly what we're going to be doing with these garden patches pretty soon. Yep. Grow some bell peppers. Great. Now let's do some gardening. Tap your new garden patch and select bell peppers. Once they finish growing, tap the bell pepper icons to harvest them. Bell peppers free, and they go 30 seconds each. So while she's doing that, I just wanted to say, by the way, about that music and noises point. Um, unfortunately, as um, we've said, we can't do the music and sounds of the game while we're recording our voices. That's very sad because I remember when I first started playing this game, the noises and music were so like cheerful and soothing and I think they were just sort of really well done to kind of give you that hit of satisfaction and happiness while you're playing the game. You're like you hear the noise of the money going cha-ching cha-ching and you're like yay I'm doing really well and the money the music is so cheerful you're like yay I want to keep playing. It's just really ingenious. Yeah. No, there's, they obviously get the psychology of the music just right. Yeah. But you play your game with the music on now. I think I, I play it almost always just silent anyway. Ooh, check your mailbox. Great work. Gardening is a fantastic way to earn simoleons. Hey, the mail just arrived. Tap on the mailbox at the front of the house to collect it. A great number of simoleons. 71. <laughs> and what's our town worth? Town worth now is only 10,244 simoleons. Okay. So collect revenue on the town map. Hey, it's a letter. It says that every building in town generates revenue or experience points, XP, including your sim's home. Select the town map button at the bottom of the screen, then tap the house to collect from it. So what I think is also really good about this, for the, not for us, um, it's manipulative of us, but good for the game, is it these things, if you click on the tap to continue, you see we get this little... What was that? Fifty every like a hundred at every minute or few minutes. So there's something to do the whole time in this game, which keeps you. If you do want to earn money, it just keeps you going and going and going. Some games aren't as good at giving you that constant hit. Build a workplace fire station. Just look at the size of this place. If your sim wants to make it work here, they're going to need a job. Go to the town map and build the fire station. Don't forget to quick complete the construction. This one's free. Why can't free. they make the mall free? <laughs> okay, so it's going to add 10,000 simoleons of town value, which is good because it's going to keep increasing the daily mail somewhat. And here we go, build. Yeah, was it clear when we got the letter that your daily reward is linked to your town value? So here, it's free to accelerate. Usually it's going to cost you life points to accelerate, but they're just going to give us this one for yeah. free. One life point per hour. Cool. Build a workplace. Yep. Done. Okay. So our town value is now almost doubled. Get a sim a job at the fire station. Working in town is one of the best ways to earn simoleons. Get your sim that job. Open the careers panel and then tap on the briefcase icon to choose a job for your sim. Right. That goes over there briefcase, accept this job, yay. Okay, add a new sim. Do you hear something? Someone is moving in next door. Go to the town map and tap on the add home icon to add a new sim, then tap on the lifestyle points icon to finish construction of the house instantly for free. Another freebie. Free. Are you sure you want to build this house? Yes. Yep, for free. Okay. Add a new sim. Okay. 
Um, oh, we're adding Ron Weasley. Come on, oh, come on. We go for a different, a different fandom. Well, I think somebody is gonna need a companion. Fine, you can have your Ron Weasley, and I'm gonna get my Mr. or Mrs. Turnip at some point later. Uh huh. I don't know why, but I just think I've been thinking today the word name Turnip's quite cool. Uh huh. I don't know why. I think he needs a cardigan. A cardigan, yeah. A crappy cardigan. Yeah, because poor Ron. So poor. <laughs> even as an adult, even with a genius for a wife. Like eh. that? Eh, it'll do. What about, oh, hold on, go back, go back. Up, up, up. That one. Really? Oh, I've just never seen it before. Mm. I'm not a fan. No, no, no. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And trousers? Pants. They're called pants. We're trying to be um, international. We know that pants doesn't mean the same thing across either side of the pond. I also think a lot of the men's shoes look like clown shoes. They're really flat and really wide. Yeah, they're oversized. Ripped jeans, is that yeah, appropriate? ripped jeans. Oh, Go poor Ron. Maybe they're trendy ripped. That's true. Color? Preference? Whatever, that's fine. Yeah. Shoes. I'm gonna go for tennis shoes because Ron's not the most dressy of dudes. Any of these are okay? I think those ones are good. Okay. I'm not just top, I think. Alrighty. Add Ron Weasley to the town. Yes. He's going to be all alone too, because mine is at work. She's not at work yet. Oh, I thought we sent her to work. Oh, have we? I don't know. Ooh, oh, he is not inspire happy. a sim by using a cupcake. Moving into town took a lot out of your sim. Cheer them up instantly with a cupcake. Use a cupcake to inspire your sim. Cupcakes will instantly inspire a sim. For, you know, usually... Usually five, five life lifestyle points. points. Yeah, but now they're free. Yeah. So... Just know, guys, we know this video is going a bit long. We're going to stick with it a bit longer because we're almost done with this tutorial. Buy a basic home pack from the online store. Excellent. Inspired Sims will earn more XP. Now tap the purple icon for the online store and get a free basic home pack before they run out. Oh. Free basic home pack. They're really giving you a lot of stuff to make mm -hmm. you hooked on the game. Yeah, they're also showing you exactly where to go and what to spend things on and in order to need more money. Leveled up again. Level five. Ah, oh, a lot of stuff. Did we get one of Each all of those level. things? Yeah. Oh, we unlocked all of those. We unlocked all of these things, yeah. We unlocked a turkey. <laughs> Was that really a turkey? Yeah, a turkey. Maybe it's a cooking kind of yeah. thing. Well, that's cool, he's got the basic house. Okay. Place an item from the inventory. Some of these new items will look great in your Sims home. Choose an item from the inventory and place it in the home wherever you would like. So, inventory. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's probably going to need lighting, I would assume. Yeah. Sure. sure. Oh. What about bed? It, there wasn't one. Uh. Open Sim Tracker. Great. It's time for your two new neighbors to meet. Excellent. See that pulsing button on the screen? Tap it to open the sim tracker. Yeah, so the cheap thing is to have few houses by having all your sims living together, which we'll get to, I guess. We're just introducing the sim tracker. Tap the sim's portrait to select them. This button will switch between a house and a whistle. Tap the house to send them home. Tap the whistle to call the sim to you. Call a sim over, tap the whistle icon next to your sim's name in the sim tracker to call them to the current screen scene. Go ahead, tap the whistle to call them over now. Do it. Come on over, Hermione. And now... This is a plum bob, yes. What's a plum bob? Plum bob shows you which sim is currently selected. Oh, that thing. 
Switch sim selection. Selecting the right sim for the right job is an essential part of sim life. Tap the sim without a green diamond plumb bop over their head and then tap the swap selection button to the right of their name. Yes, this is key. This is key, but yeah. It strikes me there should be a better way of doing it, like long tapping. I think it does sometimes do that, but you have to hit yeah. them at the right moment. So yeah, be know. funny to a sim. First impressions are important, so get these two acquainted quickly before it starts getting awkward. Tap on your sim and choose the be funny interaction to start up a conversation. That's so perfectly natural for Ron to be funny. Aww, this is like their dynamic in a nutshell. <laughs> yes! Complete with annoying hand buzzer. Yes, magical hand buzzer. Okay, build the park. Oh wow. my goodness. Now that your sims are moved in and have met their neighbor, they'll need a peaceful location to relax in town. Somewhere like a park. Go to the town map and build the park. Yeah, the park is in one of the most visited places in quests, don't you think? Yeah, a lot of quests happen there. Okay, so four minute construction, build for mm -hmm. 500 ducats and adds 10,000 ducats. That's, uh, that's like... Should we use life point? Nah. Let's save these life points because, you know, you're going to need them. Construction complete. Your new park is complete. Time to have some fun. Look on the park, I get. Wow. Your town is now worth 30,744 ducats. We get another life point when we get to 50,000. Task complete. We have built the park and we earn. 500 money and some XP. Congratulations. Congratulations. You moved in your first two Sims and given mm -hmm. them a great start in SimTown. You are now free to pursue exciting quests, build more of your town, and form new relationships. What are you waiting for? What we're waiting for is the next exciting episode of Sims Let's Play by Make Two. You Yo. and me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. for now, this is a uh, taste of what's to come. Oh look, we can see Breadwinner. You can unlock that hobby. Oh wow. More things unlock. Yeah. Look at... Uh, uh, so well, we're going to see the next view. Okay. It was nice being able to get the map. That was cool. Okay. Well guys, we hope you've enjoyed watching this Sims free play let's play. Ooh, wait, hold on. Visit Mystery Box Shop. Weekly quests are now unlocked. Get new weekly tasks by pressing the quest button and complete them within the time limit to win great prizes. Sure enough. More XP. Oh, and see, now you've leveled up to wow. level 6. But that's the thing, like, at what point do we stop? It's just like, oh, we'll just do one more thing. Mm -hmm. Wow, I like, I like the Dr. Freeze fridge. That sci-fi floor lamp, I'm not a huge fan of. We do get a free toothbrush. There's and that we get... Philips Sonicare. The good thing is you can have as many of these vanities as you like. You can't have as many of the toothbrushes. So Only one toothbrush per And they're, they're both free. So that when things are free, if you're get them. cheap like us, stock up. Yep. Okay. I don't think we have any keys. So I'm just going to click OK. You haven't completed any weekly tasks. No, I have Well, just finished okay. the tutorial. Okay. So... Thanks for watching this first episode of Sims Free Play Let's Play. We hope you've enjoyed it. Let us know what you think. And if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a like and a thumbs up to encourage us to keep going. And if you want to visit any of our real towns, we've got information for our Facebook and Game Center in the video description below. Just click Show More to see it. And it's also in our channel description. Otherwise, please subscribe to our channel for future episodes of Let's Plays and also for home tours and all kinds of things. Thanks for watching.